Hey, what's up, guys? So I am here today in Lisbon, in Portugal. I arrived yesterday and had a really nice meal, which you really saw some clips of, and just like chilled and stuff. So today is my first full day. I'm gonna go a big walk. There's a castle I think I'm gonna go to because the weather today is really nice. It's that like kind of in between temperature where you could wear shorts and you'd be fine, or you can wear trousers and you'd be fine. So. I'm gonna make the most of it and go to this like outdoor castle because I think tomorrow the weather's maybe not the best and also tomorrow I should, all things going to plan, be meeting Mafalda again who you would have saw in my London Yalk vlog and obviously if you are on Bookshop you probably know Mafalda. So that'd be really good. So right now I'm just having some fruit and then I'm gonna go get some lunch and then hopefully go to this castle. This place is so cute, but it is killing me trying to get an Instagram picture. I don't know what is going on today. I don't want to blame my face. I'm going to blame the natural cloudy lighting, but oh my god, nothing <laughs> was working. I think I maybe got a few. I don't know. But yeah, it's really cute. There's little peacocks, oh, not little actually, they're pretty big peacocks walking around. And I'm really hoping one like puts its feathers out, but I guess we'll see. I don't know what it is about Lisbon though. The flies are crazy. I literally cannot go like two seconds without a fly landing somewhere on my body and it is actually driving me nuts. I was trying to take Instagram pictures and I could like feel the fly like walking up my arm I was like oh and earlier when I was having lunch it was just non-stop the entire meal I was going like this. So yeah that is a negative point to Lisbon but everything else so far positive. I would definitely recommend going to that castle. It was 10 euros if you were over 25, but only 5 euros if you were under 25. So I only paid 5 euro and it was such a nice like walk. There's a lot of like indoor museum as well, which was okay. Um, it was like two rooms. It was kind of cute. But yeah, such a nice spot with like an amazing view of the city. I really wish it wasn't so overcast, but it was really nice. I have lost my glasses which I'm very sad about because obviously I'm not going to be home for like another over two months and I use them all the time like I don't wear them on camera and stuff because I just don't like how it looks but when I'm like reading, when I'm on my phone, when I'm in museums and galleries and anything like that I always have them on because my eyesight's actually kind of bad like especially this eye it's really bad now so especially museums like I really struggle reading stuff without them so yeah it's not good. I had them in my trouser pocket and it was in the same pocket as my wallet, so I'm assuming at one point I put my wallet out and they fell out and I never noticed, I don't know. <laughs> I'm kind of sad about it, but I mean, can't change it. So anyway, moving on. Tonight is a Trick or Treatathon live show, which obviously will be way in the past for you now because these videos are coming out kind of late. Um, because I've done a couple of book videos, so I've got like videos from Germany coming out in like a week and a half time, but from now, so I don't know. Anyway, it should be fun. Hello, it's good to see everyone again. Um, welcome to our first 
live show for the Trick or Treatathon. Third year in a row. <laughs> it's still going. <laughs> I am on my way right now to meet Mafalda. We're gonna go for lunch and then I don't know what we're doing after that. But or if we are doing anything after that, but I guess we'll find out. Um and last night was really fun. I love those little chats with my little group chat. It's just such a nice little thing to do and to like have people to do that with, you know. So yeah, and a good mood. Valda is here <laughs> with her umbrella. Yeah. I apparently decided to come to Portugal in the one week that it's raining, but yeah, to yeah, be fair. It's been really nice. Like, this is the only week that it's been raining and really cloudy. Sure. <laughs> it's not even real rain though. Like, the umbrella is a bit extra, in my opinion. It is, but, <laughs> but my hair cannot get wet. <laughs> yeah. So, we just had a really nice lunch, and now we're going to find vegan donuts, which sounds very exciting to me. Yeah. And. I don't know what we're doing after that. Just shopping apparently. Yep. But yeah. Okay. The rain is now much heavier, so the umbrella would be justified now. <laughs> Being super extra, like two umbrellas. I was gonna go for food, but the rain has gotten actually crazy. And I don't really wanna go outside again. But then also I haven't had really had dinner. I had fruit and Pringles at like six o'clock. So like, I could survive till tomorrow. I don't know. I went out to brave the rain, all for a McDonald's. I'm not even that hungry, to be honest. I just, I'm addicted to McDonald's, but Hey ho, it's not even, <laughs> I was gonna lie and say it's not even raining that much, but no, it is. It is another sunny day today, thankfully, which is really good. I am gonna get another one of those donuts because they were honestly amazing yesterday, so. Oh, my breath. Lisbon is so hilly, like everything is like uphill. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna get another donut and then I'm gonna go to the, the Modern Art Museum, which my father recommended, she said it's really good. So, yeah. Excited for another day. I decided to get the raspberry one that my father had yesterday. So let's have a little taste. Oh my god. That is like the sweetest thing I've ever tasted in my entire life. But it's very good. Okay, so that was delicious, and now I'm gonna go to this restaurant called Kong, which makes like traditional Portuguese meals, but vegan versions, which sounds pretty fun. Because I think that's one thing that I guess I could say I kind of miss out on being vegan is traveling. They really get to try like traditional dishes from places and stuff because it's just not really an option unless you find somewhere like this. So I think it'd be really good. I think, actually, hands down, 
that's my favorite meal I've had, like, full stop. The set lunch menu was only 12 euros, and like a main on its own was like 12 50 so obviously I got that. So I had cauliflower wings, and then the main, I don't even know where it was, it was like some kind of stew. It was some kind of like stew with like tofu and rice, and oh my god, it was delicious. And then the dessert was an Oreo mousse, and oh my god, it was so good. And obviously I already had the donut as well, so I was like, I really don't need the dessert again, but I'm so glad I did. It was so good. Like you definitely have to go there if you come to Lisbon. try and pronounce it but I took a clip of the name of the place but yeah as you just saw so many cool artists so many cool pieces of art and they also done a really good job of breaking down like the different art movements and like, the history and stuff which I think can be kind of hard to do but I think they done quite a good job at it so yeah definitely recommend that's such a nice day today and it's so sunny